In this short demo, I'll be showing some different MFA examples on the Windows platform. Using a second factor at critical times, such as login to servers and when elevating privileges to run a sensitive application, can help assure the identity of the user and help stop attackers, bots, and malware in their tracks. So here we are at the Windows login screen. I'm gonna log in as my test user, MFA test at centrify.vms. That's an AD domain account. I enter my password and you'll see that we're actually communicating with the authentication server. And I have a number of second factor options available to me. So I'm gonna pick one, let's pick the SMS message. And here's my phone. Let me just move that off to the side and we will tap the continue button. Now what we should see any second here is an SMS message notification and there it is on the screen. So let me click on that and you'll see there's the link. So I click on the link and it takes me to a web page where I can approve or deny access. So obviously I will approve and immediately you can see I'm being logged into that server. So there's the first demonstration of MFA on Windows Server login. Since we're logged in for the first time using the Centrify MFA capability, we have the option to configure an offline passcode to ensure we're not locked out when we're offline. So let's click on the link and we'll follow the prompts in the wizard and use an authenticator app on my iPhone. So we'll select scan barcode. Let me run the authenticator app We click next and we're shown a barcode that we can scan. So I'll click the plus sign to add a new authenticator, click scan barcode, and we'll scan that with the phone. Now we see at the bottom of my iPhone screen there, we see the MFA test at centrify.vms. So I'll enter that code into the field in the wizard and then we're all set up. So I'll sign off now and then I'll disable the network to simulate offline mode. When I now attempt login, since the authentication service is not available, You see we're presented with the option of logging in with the offline passcode. Now it looks as though this is about to recycle. So let's give it a few seconds to refresh and we'll enter the code into the passcode field. And we're successfully logged in. Okay, now we'll take a look at the use of a second factor to authenticate when we're in a lock situation. Either the screen is locked or we have a screensaver lock uh, going on. So let's lock the screen and we'll attempt to log in again. We'll enter our password. And again, we're presented with multiple factors. Let's choose a different one this time. We'll choose a phone call. Let me bring up my iPhone. Okay, there's my phone ringing. Let's answer that. Hello, this is Centrify. Please complete your authentication by pressing the pound or hash key. You have successfully authenticated using Centrify. You may hang up now. Goodbye. And as we can see, we're logged into the system once again. Let's take a look at MFA on privilege elevation. I'm still logged in as MFA test. I have minimal privileges and I can't run the Centrify Audit Analyzer application because I don't have sufficient permissions, but I do have a role that allows me to elevate privilege. But what we've done is we've tied that role to multi-factor authentication. We can do that selectively. So if I run this with privilege now, you'll see we're contacting the authentication service once again. And here I have multiple different factors that I can use in order to log in. This time, let's try an email message, and I'll click Next. So now under the covers, we're communicating. We're sending an email message out to my personal email address at centrify.com. And then once that's received, I will acknowledge it. I will approve, and it looks as though it has just arrived. So let me open that message up. 
There's the message. I will continue with authentication. And there we see authentication successful. Let me go back. And you'll see that we're already logged into that audit analyzer application where we're able to view the various different recorded sessions using that Centrify tool. So there we have the example of the use of a second factor for step up authentication from within an established session. So that concludes our look at Windows MFA for standard login, offline login, screen lock and step up authentication.